Hey guys, uh, this video is to do a walkthrough of my guide that I've created. It's a really rough guide and I really haven't cleaned it up. But instead of cleaning it up, I figured I would make a video to kind of uh, walk you uh, through how to make proxies. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is uh, we're going to make a Google account. And since I'm not really good at editing, I'm just going to cut and cut and paste these little video segments and um, hopefully uh, some of these parts you should be able to figure out on your own. All right, so I have created a brand new account on uh, Google Cloud. You put in your information, um, and uh, right now we're just going to leave it as is. Um, in the gu in the guide, uh, you'll see that the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a compute engine. So the the high level steps that we're going to do is we're going to make we're going to kind of we're going to define the server. We're going to install the proxy. Uh, once we install the proxy, we're going to capture a copy of that hard drive that the proxy is installed on. We're going to save that as what's called an image. Then we're going to use that image and define templates. And using a template, we're going to be able to start and stop servers as we want. So um, in the guide, the first step is we're going to create a, uh, we're going to go to Compute Engine. We're going to create a small VM. Smaller the VM, uh, the cheaper it is. You don't really need uh, much for these uh, proxies because all you're doing is sending some very basic isolated traffic through. So we're going to go to Compute Engine, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin this just to keep it at the top, and we're going to go to uh, VM Instances, just like I did here. It takes a little bit; it's the first time I've done this. Alright, so the compute engine started. Uh, you should have this little create button here. Um, so we're creating a new instance, and what we're going to do is we're going to call this uh, my first proxy. Doesn't really matter. You're going to choose a location. Uh, North of Virginia is a really popular place. You're going to pick where it, um, whatever you think is closest to the location you want to hit. Um, doesn't really matter. You can see. It. Now this is important, right? So you're going to want to pick the smallest. That you can do. So we're going to do a micro one v micro one shared vCPU. All right. And for this install that we're going to do is we're going to do Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So I'm going to hit change. And I'm going to go to. I'm going to be able to slow scroll down so it looks like hidden. So you're going to scroll down. You're going to Red Hat Enterprise Linux seven. You're going to choose that. Uh, we're going to keep this as small as you can go, so we're going to leave this. This um, You could go to SSD. It doesn't really matter. Uh, SSD is just more money. Let's see that? Pick keep the cheapest one. All right. So um, in the in the guide, we'll see what, what we're choosing to guide because I kind of went over this. So I'm going to walk you through exactly what I did. And we're going to go down to allow this traffic. Now, I'm not a network guy, but I'm just going to leave this kind of default. And I think that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to hit create. This is going to start up here. All right, so uh, the proxy's created, my first proxy. And what we're going to do is uh, in the guide, you see I have connect through SSH. So I'm going to click right here, connect to SSH. in the middle so it does everything for you it's one of the things I love about Google it's very very easy to do all right so now we're going to follow the next set so we're going to do sudo su root and normally this is really a bad thing but um, pretty simple so we're going to do yum install wget you can see that we're just following the instructions here Install everything that we need. Actually, I think it's going to prompt us.
is still going. Well, 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 uh. All right, so I'm gonna hit yes. That's actually gonna download. All right, cool. And now we're gonna run this command. Wget. I should probably format that. All right, so wget. All right, so it already downloaded it. Uh, we're gonna go to. Now we're gonna type this. We're gonna do bash spi dash rel seven. All right, so now I'm gonna give it a, a username. So we're gonna call this. Uh, Oh no, endurance. Just gonna call this endurance. And uh, password. We're gonna give it a password. So um, I don't know. Let's see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm uh, not gonna forget that password. I did test one two three. Um, I will delete that later. Um, but I put in a password. Um, you want to remember that because that's the password you're gonna use when you're gonna connect to the stuff. Don't give it out to anybody, otherwise they can grab your stuff. All right, so we're done. We've uh, we've installed uh, a proxy. That was it. That's all we had to do. So I'm gonna just exit out of here. We're logged out. We're gonna leave here, and that's it. So what can we do? We can actually start using that proxy, but we're not going to do that yet. Um, we're gonna go and create a firewall. So we're gonna click here, firewall rule. We're going to go view network details. So that's a step here. All right. And then we're going to go to firewall rules. And we're going to create a firewall rule. So create a firewall rule. And we're going to type in, uh, I'm give it a name. So I don't know, uh, proxy3128. We're going to do that. And uh, if I remember right, so once you're in a firewall rule, we're going to go to, um, Let's see. Source IP range. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in this command. So we're going to do 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 slash here. So essentially, we're allowing everybody to come in here. Um, we're going to go to, there's a priority tag. I'm trying to remember where he said that. priority on here, a priority here. We're going to do this 10 and um, we're going to set the TCP. We're going to do uh, NUDP because I don't remember what it actually uses. I think it's just TCP, but we're going to do this. Uh, specify. We're going to hit create. Oh, I think we need to do that. I think that's all we got to do. Target tag. Oh, just give it a name. Uh, proxy. It's just a tag. All right, so we're done. So we've gone through here, and we're creating a firewall. Three, two, one, two, eight. Okay, uh, so we've created a server. We've installed a proxy. We've created a firewall to actually get that. And what we're going to do is we're going to be able to run more than one proxy, right? Because one proxy is not really going to do us much. Otherwise, we would just run. Oh, shoot. I messed this up. So we're going to edit this. We're going to go back to edit. All right. So that so we're good. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stop our instance. So we're going to go back to the compute engine. And we're going to tell it to here, we're going to tell it to stop. Stop. Now we're going to, once this is done, what we're going to do is we're going to now, we're going to pretty much copy the hard drive. We're going to make an image out of that hard drive that we can use in every other server we made. That's why you have to remember the, the username and password, because that username and password is going to be in all your images. That means it can be reused over and over and over. 
All right, so we're going to select images. We're going to do create image. Um, whatever. We're going to hit. Uh, we're going to do source disk. Source disk, and then we're here. We're going to my first proxy. We're going to create. All right, so um, the image is created. You can see it here. And now that we've created an image, we're going to make an instance template. So we're going to select instance template, create instance template. And it's very, very, very important that you go back and ah, you pick the smallest item that you can. Because this is what's going to drive your monthly. So right now, this is at $4 a month. Um, this varies depending on the data center in Virginia the price is going up because everybody's trying to get there um, but the secret in some of this is turning stuff off and off we'll talk about that later but that's the cheapest so it's four dollars a month if you ran it 24 7 um, now we're going to do select a boot disk and we are going to hit change and we are going to do custom image we're going to select image one, which is what we just created. And we're select. And I don't remember what we did. I think. Yeah, we just go down here. Boot disk. I'm going through the template. There the instructions are right. That was it, right? So we're going to hit create. So now that I've created an instant template, we're going to create a group where we're going to assign the template. So we're going to instance group. We're going to create an instance group. Uh, single zone, multiple zone. So in this case, let's pick uh, US East 4. And we're going to put multiple zones. Uh, which is okay. US East 4. Uh, we're going to do manage instance group. Uh, we're going to select the template that we made. We're going to do auto scaling off. And we're going to let's set it to 4. And I'm going to hit create. That's all I have to do. And I think that's the end. So what's going to happen is. Um, I've selected four. Now um, we can start and stop our virtual machines through here. Now my quota on a on a free thing is four IPs per zone, so I can go and create more areas, or or per uh, so I can go US East one to make four, or I can request Google to increase my quota. Lately, it's been difficult to get Google to do that. So going through zones, going through different things is better. Um, I have found that once you go into the paid environment and you're not doing the free stuff, they're a little bit more lenient because, of course, they're going to get your money and you can get enough. I'm able to do 36 on my personal account. But here I've created four instances. I create VM instances. And here you go. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, we are going to go ahead and test that. So I'm going to uh, go to Notepad. All right, so one thing that we forgot to do uh, before we tested the proxies is actually apply the firewall. I knew I was missing something. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. And we're going to go to our network. I'm trying to remember where our network is. We're going to be VPC network. We're going to go to firewall rules. And when you come here, if you guys saw, I picked on the firewall. You're going to edit it, and you're going to want to make sure that targets, you put all instances in the network. If You need to put that in there. Once you put that in there and you, you apply it and you save it, it's going to apply that to everything. So now, if you go to your tester, um, you're going to want to create. So you're going to go back to your VM instances. You're going to grab these IP numbers, 
and you're going to make like a little uh, just a notepad and you're going to put semicolon or oh, sorry colon 3128 colon endurance colon test123 that's the password the ID and password we put in when we installed the proxy you're going to copy you're going to go to your tester or was that You're going to import the proxy, hit submit proxy, test proxies, and you see that. Now these speeds are not indicative of what you would actually get. This is, I'm running it from my home uh, through the proxies. There's ways of taking advantage better, but these aren't terrible. You could, you can do much better. Um, I get, I can get a, sec, uh, a 60 millisecond hit to uh, KIF uh, or, or lower, so you can probably get it to single digits. Um, but this is how you set it up. So now if I want to turn this off, um, I'm going to go to Instance Group. I'm going to click here, Instance Group, and I'm going to Edit Group. And I'm just going to go to Zero, and I'm going to Save. And it's going to automatically shut my stuff off. If I go to VM Instances and hit Refresh, you'll see that they're, they're starting to go down, and uh, they're going to go away. So I won't get charged. So now when my drop comes up for the Air Max 90s, um, I would go right back to the instance group when I'm ready to, ready to run my bot. I had edit group. I would turn this back up to, uh, I'd put it back to four, hit save, and it would make four. So, just like this. Let's see. You go four, hit save, and it's going to spin up four. So you just toggle it back and forth. Um, I'm going to make uh, a more advanced video uh, later on on how to really make your uh, proxies or how to actually interact with your other proxies a little bit better, uh, but this should get you going. Thanks.